Hey everyone, welcome back to What's Happening. So on yesterday, there was a clip that was aired online that shows uh, Stormy Steele and her mom, Betty, having a conversation about her having to have turned herself in to jail uh, in regards to the situation that occurred with the uh, YouTuber. So, you know, Miss Betty was basically saying that, you know, Stormy should not be hanging around certain people. She was basically insinuating, talking about Melody. Um, then she went on to say that, you know, Melody tells her fans to activate. So take a listen to what she had to say. And then Mel got wind of this and she came back and responded. So uh, let's listen. And then in the comments, let me know your thoughts, you guys. Right. Stop but there are certain people that you can have in your circle. Certain people you shouldn't be fooling with. The thing, mm -hmm. I was mad. I was upset. My thing was, if you had listened to us, none of this would have happened because you wouldn't have been in the public eye. You wouldn't have been in the eye of these people who have this certain person they want to elevate and bring down everybody else. A certain member of this circle have people who are call to activate. And I'm going to use that word because that's the word that's used to attack anybody. When I go on and I attack this person, right? You keep saying this person. Who is the person? I'll call her name. Mel. Say it, cause I'm Mel. You, you can. Can y'all hear me? Good. Okay, so I'll call her right back. Who? Listen. First of all, so I just got wind. I'm gonna let y'all come on in here, cause I just got wind of this little clip, and I'm gonna say what I gotta say about that and keep it moving. Like I do. That's what I'm gonna do. My TikTok is 7th Avenue Beauty. 7th Avenue Beauty is my TikTok. Um, I'll be back over there on TikTok tomorrow around 2.30 again. So, okay. I'll be right back over there. So I already told y'all 2024, listen, <laughs> say something that's wrong. I'm, I'm checking it right there. I'm coming right back. Mean it, point blank. You know, I'm not going to be quiet no more. Kind of, mm -mm, no. No, someone said check your IG DM. I just got out my IG DM, honestly. So, um, listen, let me say this right here. Betty, shut up. Betty, shut up. Straight like that. Betty, shut up. Um, first of all, first of all, you have been coming for me and dogging me in these groups before I ever even met you. Before I even knew who the hell you were. You had an opinion about me. You had so much to say about me. I'm gonna need you to shut up. Don't you have nothing to say about what, no, nothing that you don't have, wait, no, nothing about. I, ain't, I don't tell nobody to activate except on my products and my classes and what I'm selling. Okay? And unlike you, I'm not selling bullshit. So, whenever you come out here talking about some doggone, oh, if you had to listen to me, you wouldn't be in no public eye, nah, 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 because it's because people want to do this. There are people who have had bad experiences that feel how they feel that has nothing to do with me. So stop it. Stop it. What I'm still trying to understand is how all y'all older mamas out here have so much time to keep coming for the young people. I'm, I, where, is the, where are the elders with the wisdom? Where, where they at? Because it ain't y'all. Jesus, I need you to send some mofos down to be the elders for this generation. Because it ain't these people that keep coming up here playing on this internet and on this TV screen. It's just not. It's not. It ain't y'all. Y'all is not them. Y'all is not them. Y'all don't bring no peace. Y'all don't even try to bring folks together when they ain't getting along. Y'all don't do none of that. Y'all don't do nothing but keep up hell all damn day. You look like hell and you keep up hell. That's what y'all do. And it's ridiculous. Shut up. You've been, like I said, you've been talking about me, coming for me, dragging me. Before I even knew you, heard of you, met you, could have thought of who you were. All in groups. Type and running your mouth. And then the funny thing is what really gets me is whenever I be in y'all's faces, because I just saw you too. At, uh, well, first, let's go back to when I first met you. You never acted as if you didn't like me. 
You never said, um, hey, I really don't like you, but hey, you never did that. You never kept it real like that. You always spoke, you were friendly, you were kind when I was around you. Let's be clear about it, okay? I think the first kind of somewhat turn up you tried to do, you was doing more stuff on the internet than anything, but in person was at the reunion with security and everybody produces in between, wasn't nothing going down there anyway. So, and then when I saw you at the passion of the party, you was even calmed in, apologetic then. And I would love for production to drop that that footage. Like, I, I, I be hanging with stuff. <laughs> they could drop that, okay? The fact of the matter is, that's what you do. You smile, somebody said it, smile in your face and then dogging me out behind my back because I didn't know you. And if I didn't like you the way that you, because it got to be the way you talked about me before you even met me, there's something deep right there. But when you met me, you ain't do all that. I would have been like, hey, I don't like you. Get up out of here. Get out of my daughter's house. Uh-uh. Bye now. Go on on now. No, ma'am. You were very pleasant. Always have been very pleasant, very nice. So stop playing with me. Let me tell you something else. This little narrative you try to run about, oh, she was bringing her kids over to swim in, in storm pool, and she was this and this. Let me be clear with you just in case you don't know the story. Let me make it clear for you. Let me make it clear. First of all, I can fly my kids anywhere I want to fly them to swim. Second of all, my brother has an in-ground pool if I, if I really just want my kids to go swimming, okay? Um, maybe you should ask, take some time maybe to ask the plan and the things that were in place to help your daughter get on the show, okay? Okay? Because no ma'am, I didn't have to use nobody's house even for my video. You know how many videos I've shot since then? Are you kidding me? You know how many videos people shoot all over this country? Like, that's easy. It was a plan. Maybe you're not privy to it. Eh. But stop playing with me. I've been letting you run and play on my top two. Nobody's playing on my top in 2024. Period. Nobody's playing on my top in 2024. Old lady, listen, listen. It was all a part of the plan. So all I'm saying is keep my name out your mouth, okay? Keep my name out your mouth. Keep your name out your mouth. You ain't, you do not possess the wisdom nor the intellect to be coming up here, coming for me, not now, another day, no more, and think that I'm not coming back for you or responding to you, because I am. Like I said, you've been dogging me for years before I met you. And I found out after the fact, because see me, the kind of woman I am, had I had known you had been dogging me for years, I never would have moved the way I moved to make some shit happen. But I didn't know that till after the fact. Was it intentional? Maybe. Some little back, little shicey shit? Maybe. But everything done in the dark always comes to the light. And baby girl, it came to the light. So, you too old too. You too old. Go find somebody else to play with. Go find somebody else to play with. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. I'm telling you. <laughs> I'm telling y'all, ain't no way these the elders that the Bible speak on. It just ain't no way. It's just no way. It's no way. And all these ops linking up. You know what? This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to post something on my story. All these ops linking up and all this. Because the fact doesn't matter. Like, and you said a comment, and I addressed it at one point, but you said a comment, and um, I don't know where we were, but you was like, she ain't ever wants I'm going to be on this show. Sweetie, I'm the reason she's on this show. And I can pull them receipts out too. As things continue to air and play out, I'll come back over here to this internet and pull them out. Quit playing with me. I'm not playing. It's 2024. I don't care. I'm not playing. I'm going to tell all y'all's facts and truths. I just am. And I can pull them receipts out too. As things continue to air and play out, I'll come back over here to this internet and pull them out. Quit playing with me. I'm not playing. It's 2024. I don't care. I'm not playing. I'm going to tell all y'all's facts and truths. I just am. I just am. All right. So we heard what Miss Betty had to say. We heard Melody's response. Now, someone sent me a screenshot of this and they said, this is what Betty still had to say after Melody went live. She said, I am giving that spiraling out of control chick dust. Now, I got to wholeheartedly agree with Mel 
where are the mothers that are out here, you know, trying to bring unity and peace and, you know, teaching the younger women how to behave and how to act. I don't think I've ever seen anything like this. I want to say, I think Miss Betty is like 63 years old. Um, it just really all just kind of baffles me. And the fact that we know, and we saw all of those tweets and posts that uh, Betty was making before Stormy was on the show about Melody. And even after Stormy got on the show, she continued to, you know, post a lot of nasty things about Mel. But like Mel said, she was in her face and she never, ever, you know, gave her any inkling that she didn't care for her. But let me know your thoughts about all of this. And sometimes I think, I don't know who's worse, Miss Wanda or Miss Betty. Like, whew. But anyway, let me know your thoughts, you guys. Sound off in the comments below. And I thank you all for watching and listening. And I'll talk to you in the next video.